guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time we are taking a look at the Transformers Age of Extinction Creo Galvatron upgrade set. Uh, this is just a little upgrade thing. I mean, it's got a whole armament and extra pieces to go along with the set that you can swap out with the figure, and then, of course, it comes with the Galvatron figure. Now, let's take a look at the armament itself. I just want to get Galvatron out of the way. Let's take a look at all the stuff it comes with. Now, the helmet itself does not like to stay attached. Uh, from the earlier sets, they had a little piece that would attach on the top here, and then you would attach the helmet itself. Now, I, I think the reason why they just, uh, decided to remove that is because it was harder to get the uh, small piece. It wasn't the same piece like these little head pieces. It's a lot thinner than that. So it would just be harder to pull it off that big giant peg. Um, so I guess they decide, you know what, we'll just have the helmet rest on top of that. The only problem with that is the helmet doesn't like to stay attached. Another problem that I have with this is the torso itself does not like to stay attached to that little peg. So there's that. I wish they did that better. But I will say this. I love the detail on this chest. Now, I know I said on the Creo figures, the, uh, the Viacons, that they have too much detail that just make them feel out of place. Um, I, I think it's mainly the facial expressions, the, the faces on those Creos just don't really interest me. I mean, there's not much expression going on with that. It's pretty bland, pretty basic, but it's also got a lot of detail, so it feels out of place. At least for the Galvatron figure, um, it's got mostly silver, so it's got that the big chunks of silver that uh, don't make uh, the details really stand out too much, I guess. But he's got a lot of lines to that, too, so if you have a closer look, yeah, you're going to notice that detail, which I guess is pretty good. I don't know. Maybe I'm starting to sound like a hypocrite, but I like the detail on that body. I love the fact that they decided to not paint the hole in the chest, so it really does make it feel like it's going straight through the body, which is very nice. And yes, you can replace the torso on this guy for this. Uh, the original torso's got a little bit more paint. It's got some orange and some blue going around with that. And I think that looks pretty good for a Creo. And I like the face on this. It makes it look really evil. It still has the... I wouldn't say the basic. It, it still has that kind of expression, the look of the other Creos with the mouth and the eyes. But it just makes it look very evil and dark, which I really like. Now, he comes with a chrome helmet, which doesn't look bad on this figure. I mean, it helps with the silver detail on the legs and the torso. And his arms have a plasticky silver color that's not bad. Uh, sometimes for Transformers toys or toys in general, when they have a plasticky silver color that's meant to look a little more metallic, it doesn't really stand out or look good uh, like some of the Dark of the Moon toys, but I gotta say this doesn't look too bad. I actually really do like that uh idea and the the creo itself is pretty cool he comes with this little gun now i love the gun itself it i think this is the same weapon they used for the star trek figures when that came out for creo um but it's still a nice looking gun i love that he's got other accessories of course but i just really love the gun on this you can replace the helmet for uh the blue one i'm trying to get this off so you, you guys can see that eh, it's not popping off unfortunately but uh, you can replace it for the transparent blue clear one if you guys want that. Which could work out with the little details on the chest, so there's that. I just like the Creo overall. I think it looks good. If you like Galvatron in Age of Extinction, well, there you go. And as far as the other accessories are concerned, you get a pair of legs in transparent blue, which is pretty cool. You also get these drill bit pieces that you can attach to the arm, which is very nice. You also get these little treads on the top there, which makes me very tempted to actually give this guy an alt mode. For these Creo, um, uh, like, assembly stuff, like the accessory stuff, they don't give them an alt mode, which I totally understand, but I feel like at least for this figure, you can give him the alt mode. 
and you can give these treads onto the arms if you like or you could swap them out with the drill pieces you can do whatever you want with that you can even just take off the drills themselves and just have little cannons if you like but i love the chrome drills that's pretty cool you get a pair of those chrome drills which is very nice and again you can give them the tank treads which is pretty good um, and you can also give them these little arms right there. You can attach the drills onto the arms. You can do so much with this Creo assembly. He's also got an extra hand. I don't know why he's got an extra hand. The lockdown one comes with an extra hand. All these figures seem to come with extra hands, and I really don't understand why. It's just weird. Um, just overall, is the set a good set? Well, I can't recall if they released Galvatron in a separate set. I remember that they made that Battle Royale set with the Galvatron figure, but they also made the arms and legs extended, and then you also had the Age of Extinction DVD pack with the Galvatron. But if you just want the Galvatron itself, I would say go ahead and pick this set up. It's not bad, and you get a lot of accessories that, to be honest, really work for this toy. I was thinking that, okay, a lot of these accessories are not going to make sense. They're not going to look good. They're just going to be random stuff. I'm not going to care about them. But to be honest, I like the accessories on the set. Now, I usually keep Galvatron just simple and like this. I don't really blow him up with accessories or anything like that. But you do have the option to go ahead and do that, which I really do like. So with that out of the way, I would say this set is actually in my recommended. If you like the design of Galvatron for the new movie, well, not new movie, the, the last movie, but uh, if you like that design and you want a Creo version of that, I would say go ahead and get it. It's actually not bad. So anyways, with that said, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun do and I'll see you guys next time.